everybody. Um, so my name is Jira and I am a brand ambassador for Red Aspen Lashes. Um, this video I'm going to show you how to apply our lashes. Um, now this could really be a tutorial for just applying false lashes in general, but obviously I'm going to use the Red Aspen ones. I'm going to talk to you about them and kind of what makes them so special too. So um, currently we have 11 styles uh, to choose from. Six of them are faux mink and five of them are made of silk. Um, that is just the material that they are made from. The difference between the two kind of in a nutshell, uh, the faux mink ones last longer. They are a little more um, dramatic. They have a 3D effect to them, multiple lashes layered on top of each other. Um, and they have a little bit of a thicker band. Um, they're still a black flexible cotton, so it's not a thick, sharp, um, uncomfortable band. Um, but it, it, it does kind of, um, it's a little more dense and so it holds together better. The silk lashes um, also have that black cotton band with the exception of one style, which is the Andy. It comes in a clear plastic, I'm not a plastic, I'm sorry, a clear elastic band. Um, so still very comfortable, unlike some of those plastic bands can be. Um, but the silk, you're going to get um, a little bit fewer wears out of. The band on that is not as thick and durable. Um, it also gives you a more natural lash look. Um, you can get, I personally get about 20 plus uses out of the foam ink lashes. And the silk, you're talking anywhere from seven to 10 or more, just kind of depends on how well you take care of them, store them, clean them, that kind of thing. So, um, foam ink ones are my favorite. I really like the dramatic lashes. Um, so that is what I am going to put on today. So one of my favorites is Rosie. It was actually the very first pair I ever wore. Um, and just to show you how well they hold up, these are my very first pair of Rosies. I've probably worn, at this point, 23, 24 times. Um, and you can see how well they are still uh, standing. And then to show you kind of that 3D layering I was talking about, do you see how the lashes aren't just one, um, one layer of lash coming off of the band. It's multiple stacks of lashes that really give that 3D effect. All right, so when you get them, they come in a box like this. There's a protective plastic, and um, so you know which lash to put on which eye. You're just simply gonna hold it up in front of your face. This lash would go on this eye, this lash on this eye. Um, some of the lashes, uh, specifically Erica and Vivian, have a cat eye flare to them. So they're actually um, shorter on the inner corner than they are on the outer. So those in particular would be very important to um, be sure you have on the correct eye. Um, otherwise, the short end would be on the outside and um, it would just throw the whole eye off. Okay, so when you are a beginner with our lashes. Um, you would want to get the lash bundle, so that is kind of our starter kit. It's going to come with an applicator tool. Now this is different than a lot of the ones you'll see at the drugstore. Um, it's much larger and metal, more durable, um, fits your hand really well, and this makes application an absolute breeze. Um, at first, when I ordered my uh, first pair of lashes, I didn't get this because I didn't think I needed it. Um, I was pretty used to putting on falsies and I just didn't really see the point of it. Um, but then I went ahead and got it and I'm telling you, it's a game changer. It's just so easy to slip right on, tuck in your corners and be done. Um, and then you also get an adhesive with your starter kit. And I'm gonna show you what's so awesome about our adhesive when I um, apply it here in a second. So, you're gonna take your lashes, and again, this eye, this eye, this one over here, and just slip your applicator around, give it a little tug, and I'm going to 
the glue on. Now our glue is latex and uh, formaldehyde free. It's all, uh, all of our products are cruelty free. This is also a foam mink, like I said, so it is vegan. We're not using a uh, real mink. Okay, so you just give a good coat of that. As you noticed, um, our glue is a brush on adhesive. So it's much less messy than those little squeeze tubes that you try to get just the right amount on. So very convenient, very sanitary. Now, if you'll notice, when the glue goes on, I know it's kind of hard to see in the light, do you see how it gives off just a really bright uh, fluorescent blue? So the glue is color changing. So number one trick I can give for applying false lashes is to wait until the glue is tacky. If you go straight on the eye, um, fresh from putting the glue on, this is going to slip all over the place and most likely you'll get it stuck on your eyebrow. Um, so wait till it's tacky. That way when you're placing it, it stays in place when you go to tuck in your corners. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. usually 20 to 30 seconds and then we're nice and tacky and if you'll notice I already have on eyeliner and mascara actually I have my full face on so the lashes is going to be the last step um, in your makeup routine so I'm gonna look down into a mirror so if you can see my mirror right here it is definitely um, lower than eye level if you start looking straight ahead, trying to do lashes, if you can see your hand and the lash and everything is gonna get right in the way of your um, line of sight. So look straight down into a mirror. Now you're gonna go right on top of the lash, in the middle, press in, okay? And then you tuck in your corners. So I always go outer corner first. Make sure it's stuck there. This is where it helps that the, the glue is tacky. So as you're tugging on that outer corner, the lash doesn't move. And then we're just gonna tuck in the inner corner, just like that. As you can see, that is rosy. Now again, this is one of our more dramatic lashes. Um, we have much more natural looking um, starter lashes, if you wanna call them. Um, for those that aren't used to wearing them or just don't want that big dramatic look. But this is rosy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get glue on the other lash. And again, I am just um, kind of pulling straight off uh, from the little storage box there. All right, let me get some glue on this one. Hold on, I'm sorry. Um, like I was saying, I already have eyeliner on and mascara. Um, they're not absolutely necessary. You don't have to put on eyeliner and mascara if you're someone who just doesn't wear a lot of makeup. The great thing about false lashes is that they can kind of give you that makeup look without having makeup on. And having that black, that black um, flexible cotton band, some ladies like to that, say that um, that kind of gives them an eyeliner appearance without actually having to wear eyeliner. I prefer to put on eyeliner. Um, one thing, it kind of gives you almost kind of a landing strip effect where it can kind of guide you exactly where that lash needs to go. Um, it also prevents you from getting any type of uh, gap, like a skin gap, in between where your natural lashes are and your falsies. Another way to help that is once they are on, just kind of squeeze your natural lash into the false one. That way you don't get any skin gapping right there. Okay, so this one's on. It is already um, getting translucent in some of the places. 
So we'll go ahead and place that one. And this one I'm going to do with my left hand because um, it keeps my hand again out of the way of my eyes so I can see very well in the mirror. Um, and this applicator makes it very simple to do with your left hand even though I'm right handed. So down into a mirror. And I'm just going to press in on the center and then tuck the outer down and then just tuck in that inner corner. One thing I didn't talk about was um, measuring your lashes. So these have already been cut down to fit me. Um, but what you're going to want to do is when you first get your lash, sorry, I'm just going to make sure this is down. So when you first get your lashes, um, let me grab a, another pair here to show you. You're going to want to take them out of the box and just place it without any glue on place it right on your eye and you're just going to measure it the lash will have enough adhesive that's sticking it to the box that it will st it will stick to your um, lash line that way you can get a good measurement so if you would just take it off and place it on your lashes and what you're going to want to do is just make sure that the inner corner doesn't go any farther in than what your natural lashes, the, uh, where your natural lashes start. So you can see mine start right there and that's where the lash is going. Um, same thing with the outer corner. You don't want it to go any farther past where the um, outer lashes start um, with your natural lashes. And then when you trim them, you're gonna wanna trim them from the outer corner. Now we do have um, little mini lash scissors that are perfect for this. Right when I sat down to do the video though, I couldn't find them. I don't. I guess one of my kids have taken off with them, but um, I will definitely post a picture of them for the party that we're doing um, so you can see what they're all about. But if you're going to trim them, um, you're gonna to wanna to trim them from the outer corner. Don't go from the inner, because that goes back to um, when I was talking about some of the lashes that are longer on the outer corner than they are on the inner. They have that perfect cat eye shape, so we don't want to mess up that shape. Um, so by doing that, or, or in order to not mess up the shape, we clip the outer corner first. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, but that is it. That is the full lash application. I'm gonna go with this one here and pinch my natural lashes into the falsy, and now we're good. You can get kind of a better look at that. And this is rosy. Um, to remove them, I'm not going to remove them because I'm getting ready to go, so I want to wear these out. Um, but to remove them, you can do one of two things. Me, personally, because I just don't have time to mess around, um, I just take the outer corner, I very gently pull it off, I place it back right back into my storage case and I move on. Um, I'll usually wait three or four different, um, I'll wait till about three or four wears before I go in. I will use some micellar water. You want to use any um, oil-free makeup remover and micellar water is really the only one I know of that isn't oil-free, or that is oil-free. Um, if you use something that has oil in it, it will actually break down the integrity of the lash. It's gonna break down the glue that holds the lash into the lash band. So any oil-free makeup remover, I soak it, uh, soak a Q-tip in it, and simply rub it along the band, and that starts to dissolve that glue down, and also any makeup that might be on the lash. And then I just very gently with tweezers or my fingers um, pick off that adhesive and that keeps them nice and clean. Um, if you have any questions, you can just uh, comment down below and let me know, but I will let you go and um, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.